start. This record, gone, gone Away Backward, really did strike me. It's a special project. Um, nice to hear you in a small acoustic environment. There are really, I mean, the bluegrass uh, qualities. And so, in a sense, a little full circle, you spent some years with the great special consensus. Greg Cahill and those guys in a band that's been rolled, had great talents rolling through it for years. And uh, how important was bluegrass music in your musical influences at the point where you got that? gig and when you were kind of getting started as a, as a musician, was it a, a core influence? I think it was kind of my main uh, instrumental skill, you know, when I was uh, growing up, I, uh, I listened a lot of uh, my parents' music and uh, that was like Country Gentleman and uh, Carter Family and, uh, and uh, you know, Flat and Scruggs and so they were heavy into the bluegrass and then when I got started I, I kind of modeled myself on Doc Watson when I was uh, starting to flat pick and uh, I enjoyed John Hartford's music and then growing up in the 70s a lot of the like, like a hippie progressive people like Sam Bush and the New Grass Revival and, and John and, and others uh, really like uh, they spoke to me if you remember that time it was like uh, kind of cool that people that uh, were hippies and like uh, dressed kind of like you thought cool people dressed that they were playing the bluegrass music that was like an important like translating device to us that were young. Were you starting to write stuff that, when you were in that special consensus context, felt a little subversive for that style, that they were like, oh, we can't sing that? <laughs> well, you know, I think bluegrass, like, uh, now in 2013, it seems to me that it's a lot more tolerant and open than it was even in the 80s when I did it. When I worked with Special Consensus, I brought in a Dwight Yoakam song, and there was a lot of like discussion with the label and within the band over whether that was pushing the envelope. To, no, it was just Dwight Yoakam, you know, it wasn't like I was bringing in a Frank Zappa song or something. Dudes from Kentucky, come on. Yeah. And so what you do on the guitar is so great, and, and it strikes me that you have more room to do what you want to do on the guitar in, in, a, in a bluegrass setting than maybe some of the country records or the rock, you know, kind of any rock records you've made. Was it part of the, was that part of the pull? I mean, you've even got a great, this tune Pacific Slope on the record I love. It's a, just a pure flat pick. And it's a good tune with two guitars. Yeah, I love doing it, you know. I, I didn't do it as a vehicle to get out and play the guitar and do what I just did here, but that's kind of what it turned into these last couple of months since it came out. And uh, yeah, I'm just loving getting the, the space to play and getting the solo, like, you know, like I tried to solo five minutes ago and that, and that music and, uh, and to hear like guys like Chad and Robbie play every night, it's just, it's just uh, blowing me away. Well, you mentioned Ron Spears on stage. You mentioned him in the notes to your record or maybe one of your blog posts about what a special thing it is to sing with him. And man, you heard him, right? He's, he's like, like, fantastic. An animal. And he, when I met him, he was like, ah, Ron. And then he sings up here. Yeah, the moonshine seems to help. <laughs> What's your background with, with these guys? Well, with Robbie, the guy on the far end of the stage I've been working for uh, since 1990. I met him through the classified ad in the paper. and. Uh, that's how we met. And with Ron, you know, we were in this special consensus at different times. And Chad, I met through John Cowan maybe 10 years ago. So, uh, yeah. And you're also back on Bloodshot, I think, with this project. Am I right about that? Yeah. Your old label. That's nice. In Chicago, too. It's yeah. flying the flag. You're wearing the Sox uh, uniform. Yeah. I, it's the only baseball team that I uh, do the anthem for. for. And it's. Uh, Maybe kind of south side team, and I'm not really a sports guy, but since they have me in to sing, you know, that's my team. And as we sign off, what's, what about Chicago has kept you there all these years? Pizza. <laughs> in a word. And baseball. Great sports town. There you go. Terrific. Robbie, thanks for being here, man. It's so good to have you. Pleasure. Robbie, folks. Thanks for listening. Come back and see us again.